At the center of New York City and in the heart of every neighborhood, public parks are the cores of our communities. New York City's park system is now nearly 30,000 acres with 1,000 playgrounds, 14 miles of beaches, and more than 2 million trees. As our system has grown over five centuries, our parks have always responded to and anticipated the unique urban challenges of the times. Since the first city park was established in 1733 at Bowling Green in Lower Manhattan, public space has been sown into the city's fabric. Generations of New Yorkers have depended upon parks to play, relax, and connect. As New York City's population and industry exploded during the 19th century, visionary landscape architects Olmsted and Vox designed parks like Central Park and Prospect Park, among others, to offer urbanized access to formal gardens and pastoral landscapes. Leaders of the newly consolidated New York City sought to relieve slum conditions with the creation of smaller community parks across the five boroughs. As part of this reform, the nation's first permanent playground opened on the Lower East Side at Seward Park. Hundreds more followed. Today, New York City's children have over a thousand dedicated places to play. Robert Moses's bold and controversial vision expanded the Parks Department's scope, building new parks and playgrounds, recreation centers, pools, and other amenities that serve the people of New York to this day. Rapid social change and the fallout from suburbanization inspired both the Parks Department and grassroots activists to discover new ways to green their city, giving rise to today's community gardens. In the late 20th and early 21st century, NYC Parks has reclaimed derelict properties and redesigned them for public use. The High Line, Brooklyn Bridge, Hudson River, and Fresh Kills Parks are former industrial lands now transformed and accessible to the public. New York City's population continues to grow and diversify, and our economy continues to transform, all as our coastal city faces the unprecedented challenge of a changing climate. Every era of park planning has responded to the social, cultural, and economic needs of our city. It is now up to us to answer a unique set of challenges for our public space that will cultivate equity and sustain healthy, vibrant neighborhoods. <music>